If you want to make fabulous gluten-free food, you need to learn a little bit about the different gluten-free flours available. This video is about how to use teff flour. I'm going to talk about the properties and what I think are the best uses for this flour. I've been teaching cooking classes for 10 years, so I know that you can learn to make the foods that you love in your own kitchen. So teff is an ancient grain from North Africa. I hadn't heard of teff until I started gluten-free baking and you hear of all these different flours that are available. So it's worth learning a little bit about them. Teff is an ancient grain that's a tiny, tiny seed like a poppy seed or a chia seed. So when it's ground into a flour, it's a 100% grain flour. It's dark brown in color. You can see it right here. And it's got an earthy, mild flavor and sort of hints of molasses. It's uh, considered to be highly nutritious. It's high in fiber and protein. And the protein helps to make it, uh, helps with build structure in gluten-free baking. And it's ideally stored in the fridge or freezer. So the best uses for teff flour are to make uh, the Ethiopian bread called injera. It's a sort of a flat crepe-like bread that's made with yeast, or some people make it with sourdough starter. It's used in place of a fork in Ethiopian uh, cuisine and they use it to the actual bread to scoop up the food. You can also use teff flour in regular baking, uh, quick breads, muffins, and use 25% of the amount of flour in your recipe. So if the recipe calls for two cups of flour, substitute a half a cup of teff flour and then one and a half cups of the flour that you were using, whether some kind of a blend. And uh, if you make the same muffins or uh, recipes over and over, you can compare that way. It's also ideal for recipes that have chocolate or mocha flavors in them. So for chocolate chip cookies, teff is nice, or you can use it in brownie recipes and in cakes. And lastly, teff flour is, uh, works well in combination with buckwheat flour. So if you make uh, buckwheat pancakes for pancakes or waffles, you can use teff flour alongside of buckwheat for a nice uh, taste. So this is number eight in my series of uh, 12 videos on gluten-free flours and how to use them for gluten-free baking. I'm Cindy, the Everyday Gluten-Free Gourmet, sharing tips and recipes from my kitchen for more everyday cooking in yours. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what other kind of videos you'd like to see.